um, she says something to me. No, oh, six nine just went to jail. That's what happened. Mm-hmm. He just went to jail. Everybody's getting their jokes in. She throws up on her on her on her Twitter a meme with me and six nine looking sexual, and basically putting it out there like we gay or some shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Now, granted, I'm I'm Jamaican. I was born in Jamaican. I mean, that's not some shit we you know, especially if it's not true. Mm-hmm. You know, we have nothing against you know um, people from the LGBTQ community, but. That was not true, and you're also trying to make a joke of, you know, somebody I know that went to jail, and also you're trying to, you know, put this out about me, like, mm-hmm. whatever. She did it, like, twice. I ain't say nothing in the moment, because really, I know everybody roasting six nights, but it happened. But I held it, and I held that until it all came out that one night of the stream when I saw John Legend flop, and I'm seeing her tweet every two days trying to cancel another motherfucker, and I'm like... Why don't you promote your man album just like how you be on Twitter doing a whole lot of bullshit? But mm-hmm. obviously, that's when those words came out. Now, yeah, with new players. Yeah. I was going to ask, now, you say you talk to a lot of different artists and try to mend beef and try to talk to them. Do you ever have conversations with 6 9 Yeah. Now, how do those conversations turn out? Man, frustrating. Frustrating because um, he's one of those people who, yeah, you're not petty than him, Evie. No. You're not. Mm-mm. Anytime... I try to appeal to his humanity anytime I try to be like, yo, bro. And we've gotten the arguments where, like, like, you know, just his friends were like, I mean, I'm not fucking with you right now at all. I'm not answering your calls. I'm not like, this. I, I, it's one thing I always suggest, like, oh, don't do that. Can't control you. But at times I'm like, this is too much. Um, and oftentimes this is this is how we act. Like, for example, PMB Rock just passed away, you know, and he had a negative comment. Mm hmm. You know, I used to repost those. I, I told him, I said, that's a dub. I can't, I'm, like, it feels like I'm almost passively amplifying that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm not going to sit there and delete every one of your comments. You could be in a comment section like with every every random fan. But I'm not reposting that at all. But even when he when he posts a negative comment, man, I'll, I'll call him like, bro, mm-hmm. are you serious? And you know what he always says? He always has one of those, yo, act. This is why I hate when you do this. When... PNB Rock was alive and was saying he can't wait for the day I die. You reposted him saying that. But now he passed away. I'm supposed to just why can't I why can't I now keep the same energy? And that's really his type of that's his reaction to most of these things. But you can't be mad at that. Because a lot of these people said they hope he dies, they hate him, he's a snitch, he's a rat, talk about him, gave him middle fingers, fuck that, yeah. fuck that, and the other. So now when something happens, he's, you know, not to say it's right, but for him, he's like, I don't give a fuck if you're alive or dead, I don't fuck with you. That's how he felt. The, the, the Shit, that's why the whole King Von thing, I remember having a, yeah, me and him, we talked for a while after the King Von thing, like, and, and he was just like, and I give him credit in the sense of, you know, as a friend, he had me say a say yo I, I know you're really upset let's talk about it and I just sat there and I was just like yo this is more than y'all issues and he was quoting 20 things that King Von said to him he's like yo King Von rapped in a lyric this he's saying this about me they all can't wait till I die why can't I and I remember saying to him I'm like but well, people are hurt a lot of people are hurt and even sometimes when these artists who I have somewhat of a connection with I'm hurt I'm, ha- I'm hurt at their passing and then I control a platform that you're using or trying to use to disrespect those same artists. So you're trying to amplify my hurt. My hurt. So it's, it's like, you know, it's very difficult, but, um, you know, I, th- I think for him, he, there got to be some place where he finds some inner peace. See, but I also feel like if we have beef when you're alive, it doesn't end when you die. Like, and that's that's whoever has beef. Like, and I always look at it like 50. Like, you know, 50's my brother. If one of those people that have beef with 50 die, he's not going to stop. All right, and but, that's a man that got shot nine times. Listen, neither one of y'all are wrong. You see, but, you see what I'm but, but, but but neither one of y'all are wrong. But you just gotta understand, you gotta deal with the consequences that come with that. Correct. So if you're gonna shit on somebody who passed away, know that that person has people who love them. Mm-hmm. Know that that person has people who ride for them. And when they see you, it's gonna be some con- it's gonna and be some consequences and repercussions. I think he's accepted that fate. Exactly. But but, has. but 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 here's the thing too, right? I I do know in the course of hip hop conversation, and I remember one time. When he told me, he was like, yo, he did something. I forgot what it was. It was some, like, he was like, he, he, he the Nipsey Mural shit. And he was just like, yo, they said I couldn't come here. I went there. Like, yo, if anybody else, if, if they said anybody else could go somewhere and they went there, they would call him tough. But they all just mad at me, talking about I'm disrespectful. Nobody, why are you not calling me tough when you call the other guy tough? 
And, you know, I always, I always have this one saying, I'm like, listen, man, sometimes it's better to be liked than to be right. Because you're arguing such technicalities. And the same point you're saying, well, if they're saying that about when he dies, why can't he keep the same energy? Well, nobody likes 6 9 except like me. Right. <laughs> right? So, like, Facts. truth be told, you they're, they're having a parade if he dies. You know this, right? They're Absolutely. having a full parade. And there will be nobody on social media saying, stop it, guys. No. It's going to be no, everybody's no. pot. That's what I'm trying to say. Not it's going to be like Queen Elizabeth times 100. Except I don't know the way that. they had fun with Queen Elizabeth. Oh, that's oh, yeah. that's times, how they're gonna do it. Thousand, but like, like, see, but like, six nine does stuff that has nothing to do with beef, right? He's in Russia right now performing. Yeah, yeah. he sticks up his middle finger and says, "Fuck Britney Griner." Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the Britney? Britney, you can't. He can't pull up a Britney Griner rap that says he said anything about him. No, I agree. I agree. And by the way, he did say he was drunk, but still, like, I don't be here defending him because I do think he just has a. He just loves that beef shit, man. You know. Do you ever look back at your drunken rants and say, I went too far? And the reason I ask that is because of watching people around you who have had to deal with those consequences, whether it was 6 9 going to jail, whether it was, you know, XXX, God bless the dead, you know, getting murdered, all the other rappers that you named that you had a relationship with. Is it worth it? Um, if I ever say something or I speak out of turn or if I say something I didn't mean or maybe I misunderstood something and reacted to it in one of those rants, I usually address it. I, I'm, I'm always... I try to hold myself accountable. I let the people hold me accountable for mm-hmm. too. You know, there have been times I think I've been all the way right, and people are like, nah. Especially like, you know, you could get a read from like, you know, the temperature of everybody. Um, one thing I try not to do is I, mean, I kind of also, you know, to sum it up, I, I feel like you know, hip hop always needs a villain, and I think because you know, six nine isn't where he used to be in his career. It's kind of like CNN with Donald Trump. Donald Trump not in office no more. Mm-hmm. All right, Joe Rogan the bad guy. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. I'm in line to be one of those guys, and, you know, I could, you know, I was even telling my brother yesterday, I was just like, I could watch every word I'm saying if they want to take something out of context. Absolutely. Bro, they went back 10 years to Uh, jump on something randomly. You know what I mean? They went back 10 years, so. Trust me, I know. Yeah, come on. You know I know. You know I know. He knows. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you for stopping through, brother. I didn't think I I was going to make it up here. Well, actually, I thought I wanted Angelie to be here. I, before before she you know uh, went well, on her new these, oh, yeah. these are the final days yeah, of the Breakfast, Breakfast Club, Club as, as you know it. Know it yeah. So <laughs> so so yeah. you you got in before the transition. Oh happened. man, oh, right. yo, could I be one of the new hosts though? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we rotating yeah. guests next yeah. year. At least I'll be swinging on me instead of Charlemagne. Charlemagne yeah. got security now. You got damn right. Nobody's swinging on nobody. Yeah, we have. Yeah, I, I, got, came, I, I got swung on in a long time. As you should. I think you're crazy if you weren't. <laughs> All right, well, we appreciate you joining us. It's Academics, DJ Academics. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.